Yo, Jeffrey, yes, Chevy, yes, yes. Morgan, man, Jacko. Yo, Six Episode West. Let's be honest. We'll be honest about this. Two. You Mama know when I stop, chap, dog. I want to phone, but up our ears. Right, Jeffrey? Yeah, you know what the bad disco? Four corner kind of bad disco. Send him up on the green green. On God. On oh, chop. God. Hi, J Frame no play. Hey. He's just wondering how you're doing, Mr. Gray. Good. He's so wonderful to you, doing great. Let's be honest, one million today. But this podcast over C and J. Chevy Jacko Magaman, six ways. What you like say? J Frame, pan your kids. Chevy no play team. game. Is that okay? Yes. Let's be honest, it's a shot now. J3 make union lockdown. Manga man whips bust down. But when Jacob Benz drop down, let's be honest, it's a shot, shot, shot now. Can't stop them, won't cut, not now. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back, people. This is episode 32 of the Let's Be Honest podcast. My dear, my brother Chevy. Chevy, what's going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. But they are again, they are again. Manga man, dear. Manga man, what's going on? Yo. Everything balanced? Yeah, everything good. Many people have no say yeah, 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 the mic ain't for you right now, so you know we are trying to get everything. Yeah, right here. Magaman there. Yeah, that's his fault. That's his fault. That's his fault. That's his fault. Well, boom. So today is a very, very exciting episode of our, of our, of our big, big pass for the big, but a colossal of a producer we both to interview and get him insight from certain things. I dance, you know, talk about dance, and now we are trying to push the culture forward, isn't me? Mm-hmm. So that producer, yeah, it's a Grammy winning producer. You know what I mean? I say, I'm gonna kind of set, set the tone for dance hall, for especially our age group, you know, the 20s, the 30s. Definitely, you know what I mean? definitely, I say? definitely, definitely. And you know? when I, when I call yeah. him, I'm yet until I call him, but I call him, you know what I say? I don't look up to his age. Yeah, and when I have that bleaching cream, so I'm gonna give him a call right now. The general. Hello? Yo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Jeffrey from the Let's Be Honest podcast. This is Chevy. You know what I mean? I say, yeah. And we're talking to Steve and the genius, my Gregor. What's going on? Yo, I'm there. Big up in. What's up, everybody? Yeah. Mad, mad, mad. Yeah, first of all, I just want to say huge fan. You know what I mean? I say, big, big fun. Congrats on all the success we, we have accomplished no, man, so respect, far. Man. Huge fan, too. Likewise. Respect, respect. This work. Big fan of your work. Yeah. Uh, we just want for us gear roses while you're still there. We don't want to wait till you know. Is it? Unfortunate yeah. things that man yeah. is like, yo, Steve was the one on the team. Pave the way, yo. Yeah, you paved the way, yeah, the way yeah, for the enough yeah. producers. Yeah. As a, the genius. For real. Yeah. But so b- before we start, um, what's new first? So go here, what's new first? The genius, yeah. What's new for the genius? Wow, I would I would for things. I mean, everybody that's under quarantine lockdown now, but um, so basically, the home and I've finished up a lot of records that are about to come out now. But like on the overseas side, and then I have like enough dance or things that I have to try to finish mix off now. <coughs> okay. I try to drop something before the summer. All right. So, well, Steve, um, everybody knows you, know, you come from music, you know, Freddie McGregor's son and whatnot. Yeah. But you feel like your success is like an example of nepotism? Sorry? Is that example? Nepotism, like, you know, because your father, uh, Freddie McGregor, like, automatically, your success was inevitable for you. Inevitable, yeah. Oh, no, I mean, no, I know. Because, I mean, that, I mean, definitely is a, is a good pull for me, I think. Because, you know, more than ever, I try to undermine that kind of um, privilege. Mm-hmm. So, definitely a good pull. But at the same time, equally, it put me under a bigger pressure to... Because, like, remember, especially because him is from a completely different world than where yeah. I build my name in. So, True. you have enough people just kind of just are watching and wait to see what you're going to do because you have such a great shoe for Phil. So, inter- so inter- like, oh, sorry, sorry, continue. Yeah, so it's just like, so, so it's like a 50 50 where definitely you get a great, because I mean, Honestly, if it did turn out something never good, then it would have been. Yeah, that'd be a different story for you. For real. Yeah, it would have so question, how much how much how much input your father have in a year career? Um, definitely steer me like the right part. Like it's I have to give it up to him for sure, where like most like you hear about most people in the music them end up go through a bunch of bad deals and make a whole heap of mistake and sure. all them something. Thankfully for me, me gets to skip all of that because of him. Okay, so I'm teaching you know, the, the business right and the structure. 
Yeah, so him, him, him just let me do what I do, but him always make sure say, the back end of everything always straight to me. That's fucks, that's fucks. True, 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 true. Yeah. true. Which, you know, I can't thank him enough for that. All right, well, well me, me as an upcoming, like, producer, me like, the, me like making beats and all that stuff. Me to ask, my oh, question man. to you, my, my question is like, what is your routine before making a rhythm? Like, what you, like, you just get up and make a rhythm or what? Like, what do you think? Um, wow, yeah, when I really have no set, like, it, yeah, cause it varies, because I don't really have a set, like, routine. Mm. Most of these days now, like, my work from scratch, you know, the studio with, with the artists or the songwriter or whatever, but, like, most of the time, it's just, like, spur of the moment, random, like, I mean, most of my dancehall kingdom especially is, like, really, like, super fast, random, spur of the moment. I'm big, make Red Bull and Guinness probably, like, an eagle. Oh, first of all, Jaffa like Band. Jaffa Band for Red Bull and Guinness, because yeah. that, that really, you know, at the first studio, me learn to play on the desk, you see me? Yeah. Like, everybody, <laughs> everybody learn how to play that on the desk. So, I believe not going on it. So, so, Steve, uh, Red Bull and Guinness, <laughs> right? That's a 2005 <laughs> F memory serve, me correct, at 06. Um, at at fr- the 05. Five, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah I, okay. at first, me as a juvenile girl, you know, because I'm telling me a youth, um, yeah. me would have things that Delhi Ranks produced that. So, what was the relationship at the time, you and Delhi Ranks? Was it more of your Steve yeah, yeah. or Billy Reddy? Yeah, so that was that was produced by him. So, what they happen is I did build, I, I make the rhythm, I did have the rhythm, and then it did come out from Delhi's label. So, him did voice up most of the the songs and all that. I okay. did that, you know, miss everything and finish everything. Oh, right. so is that... So is, I did the rhythm and then it, him, team label did produce it. Oh, so it's like oh. a Donald and TJ type of vibe. It's like a, a beat maker yeah. and then the, the producer. Then someone produces it. Okay. Yeah. 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 I understand. And especially like them time better earlier. That's what I was doing a lot them time. But they're building up producers for like enough different local producers and like selling okay. them to people, that kind of vibe. Before me, they kind of fully established as my own. Because them time, I'm still like a school and all that. So, I never did like... Yeah, because you start like when you're 15, on. 16, correct? Yeah, yeah. Them time, yeah. Because I'm still like adding when Red Bull and Guinness did out. But not, much people at school never really know to me. Mm, what a flex. What a fuck. <laughs> what a flex, brother. Like, yo, 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 yo your man in mean, the class of singing that, you're like, yo, these niggas don't even know. Where they might do? They don't yeah, that, even that's me, bro. know. That's, I'm not even going to say nothing. Because... Yeah. Yeah, All right, it. so 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 Steve, what's your take on the new dance You know the dance yeah, I'm kind of dance Yeah, thing. I'm kind of I'm watching interview up on ER yes, yo. Um, people said the same thing about you. So you kind of fuse hip hop with with oh, dance yeah. and whatnot. And so, but you feel like this is going to move forward because a song like what them I do, it go up on the Billboard charts, the, the top R and B rap charts. I mean, and it do numbers. Yeah. You know, I'm saying kind of pivot more harder to them there right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you feel like the trap dancer can have the same success? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I would have. I, I mean, especially how music stay you now, literally anything possible. So, like, you can't really count out nothing at all once it's art. But I feel like a lot of the pressure come from the dancehall scope because the numbers don't add up now. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people try to justify that, like, oh, the 90s, we used to sell X amount of records and now this amount now sells. So that means that the music no bad and the music them times are they good. Yeah, I'm guilty of but that too. I think <laughs> I think them don't put them don't take into consideration a lot of the other metrics. Like the business is completely different right now. No, you, nobody now go for iTunes go even buy a song right now. I just stream yeah, yeah, so you can't compare it evenly. Yeah. And and I think but they said the same thing from the interview, like the success of anything I could change the convo. Like if one of them trap songs I get successful now, that's yeah, I guess that's the best thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If a dancer. Fucks, fucks, fucks. Because so my... I mean, it's a good example. Like when we build Red Bull and Guinness, for example, to like, I remember them time when I still I try come up and like I try build my name, and I remember a number of people who did already really successful on the look up to, like they tell me so like, sorry, they tell me so the rhythm can't work. Because of how it sounds and the frequency of them, and like, then basically, they say, a sound like that, not stand a chance in a dance art. Unique. You know what I'm saying? One of them kinds. So, so, so it's like, but so you know, really, no one thinks it's happening, really. True. And then, I mean, I'm not hating nobody. I'm like, still enough work with enough of them same people after. And yeah, that's what I'm All it's going to be all it's. Yeah. Why them yeah. think that? Not, not people, not, yeah. not everybody um, accept new. 
Yeah, the change. Sometimes. Like, them always stick yeah. to the same. So. It's just like, even a discussion about R&B, you know, people are saying, yo, um, they want to bring back the baby face, Teddy Riley type of R&B, yeah. which in, that, that's my yeah. type of R&B still. Can't walk in the but you have, to, you have to appreciate the Chris Brown them on the weekend. Them. You have to appreciate what music gives. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Like, that's one of my creators. Remember the music is like a youth-driven, like the business and night is a youth-driven thing too. Mm-hmm. So like, and them really run up the numbers on the streaming and, and like Spotify and all of them something. So the ball really not the younger people court. That's how like like again our generation, our age group. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm sure men and women probably not the same age group, but like oh to you like that my era dancehall are probably with the most standout dancehall to most of my age group of people. Yeah, definitely. Because of the and because it's bigger than the music, it reminds you like the time. The time. You remember school and the yeah. whole thing. Get like so get in a bus just the music that. alone, exactly. like the sound of the music, but it, it have enough compartments to it. True. True. I'm glad, I'm glad how you bring up that because you know, um, our generation live for see one of the, if not the greatest clash, Gully and Gaza, oh, yeah, yeah. and you play a big part in that. And me know, me, me sure you're up to up to up to date with the whole clashing with Jamil and the six them yeah, and yeah. Alka yeah. and the six. Now me have a theory, <laughs> so we we'll yeah, never yeah, ever no. get back. A vibes or energy like that for the main yeah. reason that them not depend on the same rhythm. Because, for example, yeah, we can yeah, say yeah. a power cut rhythm, not a year rhythm, correct? You have Movada in Farmer yeah. and you have Carter the songwriter. So, no, yeah. it's more of all right then. Um, Chronic Law, a sharp than them. So, it's a sharp than beat for Chronic Law. And then, um, who, who do Jamil? Like, Chimney are true ambassador. Uh, Javi, yeah, true yeah. ambassador. Them, so yeah. it's like them comfortable. While it's just like Steve Rhythm here, who got all up on Steve Rhythm, wind around here. And it make yeah. better for the dance. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and then it could have gone and juggling. So you agree yeah. with that, that statement there? Or you just feel like it is what it is? No, 100%. I agree. And I mean, I feel like, you know, I mean, I try throwing nobody under the bus. But I throw them like under the bus, Genius. The artists, them, not for the new artists, them, I think kind of selfish. Mm-hmm. And and probably a little bit I think, like the fear of competition why them don't want to do the same kind of like like go up on the same track and whatever because it's like a show up the real skill if you do that exactly okay. them comfortable like, yeah I, I mean yeah. like as big as even the Gully Gaza team was like both Movado and Cartel was well aware so it have helped them so so them intention have to go as hard as possible on the track so like. No people did even look at some point. No people used to ask me if they didn't even plan it. Oh, <laughs> like, you know, because it, it coordinates so well. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, because yeah, competitive. Even 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 I do on here. Uh, I don't know an interview sometime back and I must say, oh, the whole the whole um gully guys I think kind of affect theme career in a way because mm-hmm. you know you drop a rhythm, two of them dip on it a clash. And then automatically it's like yo, it never it never exists. Like my song never yeah, exists yeah, because yeah, yeah. them they're funny. Them get the highlight. Yeah, true. Yeah, so me no, you even know me, I'm, even me as the producer that used to pressure enough time too, because them at them time they may put out rhythm without thirty song funny. Yeah. But when them two my nigga war on it, now it's like all of my hard work gone down the drain. Just because of them. Just focus on the two song them. Yeah, so when so, it start actively try like coordinate cut them for don't go in another direction at some time. So how was that though? Working with two of them is that is like you play both like you're on both sides. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean I mean I think another part of it, so I think it's because the re- the mutual respect the better too. I think most of the producers them now try to them automatically enter the game from like a clique kind of vibe. Mm-hmm. So like that man I just said that money or like you know, so so because no for the same producer them now, me know like me hear some of them express it to like them wish them could have worked with Other so artists. and so and so, but you don't know them can't do it because them are far away to whatever. So like I think like the artists them that are aware of me respect both of them and they respect like it in neutral too. So it and then some it, that help. It was never a case of like politics, like yo, yo, brother, or oh, 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 you know, said a gully song there, go so, go so hard and you deal. Hey, you see me, hey. yo, Steve, <laughs> yo, because even we look upon our, our producer like not nice, because we think not nice are like the best dancer, like solely dancer in the dancer space. 
best mm-hmm. um, dancer producer for the decade, you know, because as you can, he may have influence over the three top main artists for the last decade, Alkaline Cartel and Mavada, right? Yeah, but yeah, when, yeah, he, when, he, when, yeah, when 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 did their own their own cartel, it's just Gaza. He could yeah, go exactly. outside of the Gaza camp. So just right. imagine his range if he could even get a Movado. Or, uh, you yeah, know at what the saying? time, at yeah, the, for real. For real. When Movado peak. So everything got limited, bro. Like, yeah. It, it, yeah. There is, I don't know. I think music. it's just like the way how you play to have a big part to do this. Because like, you can do it in a respectful way. Mm-hmm. You know Because I mean? like, like I said, me and Cartel used to par. But him was well aware of said, me and Movado are friends too. And well, I would say we are work together, and like all of that, and vice versa. So, like, and just the way how you maneuver it, I think. Uh, it's not for being like, you know, you're not for go too far out and like pick a side and the whole yeah. thing like that. So, even even Vibes Carter, we know that there was a party. In. Yeah, we um, Yeah. He drop all the song and everything there, innit? Yeah. He, 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 he stepping on the boot. That's it. That's you know what's funny though? In the boot. You know the funny thing about what, what, what the song, the song where, where him drop, is like yeah. you drop a song with Cartel too. Right? Careful, and he's like, the song could have gone for Cartel as well, and Cartel left on the track. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, if you want to talk about that, like why the beef start, or if it's because of politics, like, yo, or, yo, you're part of the thing, too much, yo. or probably Cartel feel like him too powerful, and you say, yo, you know, me no, no. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, honestly, I think enough of, like, enough other, like, background thing happened where mm-hmm. you know, no work getting to know but I think for the most part it was probably like a mixture of some of them things there. Oh, okay. So you know like because you know you have to think about it logically to like put like put yourself in a somewhere like cartel position so like me I produced the same him biggest competition at the time too. Yeah. So you know he must be I think I would imagine he must be I think beyond that to be like how he can kind of get ahead of that too. So that's why he incorporate like them time themselves like with new producer like not nice and thing and I think oh, Russian okay. come later down. So like you know like no business thing there. Yeah, we could have understand that though. Like something we would have feel like yo, I wonder if yo it might say back something to the yeah. next artist type. Even <laughs> even even if even if it not gonna go so cause you know yo a business yeah. you deal it, music may I deal it. But certain man just don't think like that. That's facts. You know I mean? yeah, so yeah, yeah. it could be like that. And, 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 it just, and, it just, and it, I think for the most part it was just a natural drift too. Like mm. cause because it's hard to say like one specific thing did happen when we could have said yeah this are the thing and that day and everything in my show yeah, so yeah. Like oh yeah is that like it's not like a follow like yeah it's not like a one thing when we can say yeah that day oh. that thing i go on and i don't think it happened yeah so you know I mean? so i don't really know all right so you know the <laughs> early the early 2010s now we notice you kind of you're still left on the dance scene but you know, dip on the dance no, no, scene. Question, my, my question is, what genre do you classify yourself in at this moment? Like, why your genre right now? You just produce music. Come on, no, you, yeah. you, you can't be, you can't be a dancer. You're not a dancer producer. It's like a pop genre right now. You're a producer. <laughs> That's it. No, I mean, For we're real. Just, we're just gonna do music, like you said. Like, For real. I mean, I mean, funny enough, like when we did just start, like venture into production, like yeah. we always see myself just as the music on a whole like that it just so happens that all of them dance out thing and they start kick off for me from early so obviously that kind of put me in a box okay but but like from the start like my artist used to make the rhythm of my start make originally not there wasn't even dance out to be honest oh. and even my dance out we know no like that's why the same argument we mentioned earlier was me i merged so much different things come out as i try like, I'm going to try enough things will never work too. We're probably just ahead of time. Because we're just always I try to push the envelope when I think could have be bigger than just the space. Okay. But with respect to the culture, though, to keep it authentic, same way. So, um, I, I know you have a couple of Grammys on, on the year belt. I think one for Elder and one for Stony Hill, correct? Oh, yeah. yeah. Big yeah, body. <laughs> yeah, so how, how, how was that working with, with Junior Gang? But Junior Gang, I say my favorite artist of all time. If I have one artist to listen to the rest of my life, would that be Junior Gang? <laughs> was that like something no, like yeah, I grew up and I say, yo. So was that thing like him reach out to you or is more like, yo, Mutual Gang, more, more, more work on that Junior Gang project? You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, like with me and like our family and the Mali family have like a family relationship. So mm-hmm. we did a link a while, even before we did even start work together like that. Just like just power and just them kind of as and then I think 
Stony Hill was around the time I was in Miami. Cause we we lived in Miami for a while. Mm-hmm. So that's when that happened. Now we did go back and forth, and we used to do the studio a couple nights well, and we used to just go back and forth, and we did do a whole heap of song, and then I think the two songs from that project was done in that time. And we still have enough things still. We we'll work on the same way. We're not releasing it. And, just and then and you work on the Grammy nominated chronology as well. So it's like, no matter where you oh, did that yeah, year, yeah. you did bone for win a Grammy. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just you know, so you know, no matter. I think some serious new thing I come to. Yeah. So even that, was there any politics in that? Because, you know, like fans, a fans didn't really like, kind of do it still. Like, yo, Mali them only, I win because they need Mali. Mali type, yeah. And but, then, you know, Chronics deserve it and all that. Was there like any politics in that that you feel like, I mean, no people must come to you and they point, yo, yo, you produce one too, which uh, I the album. Uh, well, the rest of them don't even think <laughs> that way it is, it? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I think one thing too, though, I feel like important to debunk, like, no people just have it to the money them automatically win Grammy and whatever. Oh, I, oh, I know, I know that. That's a lie. Because Julian yeah. and lose. We know that's a fuck. Big up Julian. Though. Yeah. Yeah, big and up like still. a whole lot of other past projects where most, most people never realize but people only count it whenever they win. Yeah, yeah that's true. And then make it an argument. But I mean, but in fairness though, that year that to me with Stony Hill and Chronology and all of the other albums, that was a tough year to me because all of the albums them not the category did solid. Oh. And like some giant name to some me did even know on them and say, yo, that year you're gonna look away. Yeah, but cool. I mean, you know, all of the project them did solid. And you know, the Grammy thing is a whole heap of like the committee have enough to do with it and then the voting members and all of that too. So you know, yeah, a whole heap of different parts to it. No, we'll see we'll see a link up with um Boy Wonder um for produce controller. Was was that a, like big, a, big. a friend a friend thing? I know yeah, Boy Wonder Jamaican, Jamaican Jamaican link and all thing. Oh yeah, so that did that they same Miami again. When we did the Miami. So Dupes, Super Dupes, the uh, the producer from Jamaica. Mm. Him and Boy Wonder them was already working together from before. And I think at the time them they have the same management and all that too. So I think them was working at the studio just on some random things. And then I think Dukes did reach out to me for pass through the studio one of the days. And I think that's when they meet Wanda for the first time. Okay. Oh, okay. And then I'm already familiar with all of my work and whatever too from before. So that's for me. So they just did it for me though. Never they plan for work or not. And then, you know, I'm just like, yo, why we build up something like you know, a vibe and we'll use one of the other studio rooms then. I would just start build a couple of things and then they play me. Um, I think the demo for work where we're on the the yeah. yeah. The play with the demo and it was like, yo, I want to do some more vibes like this and possibly send more of that stuff to read. But you know, and then it did Drake did end up getting to write the song. And that ended up being a really big song. <sighs> big question too. When when the album was drop, Rihanna album come know you left on that too. <laughs> Well, no, we can't, we can't speak for no details. Yeah, no, star. So we get the drop, dog. Yeah, no, star. Yeah. One of them things they stay. But um, next thing, we we'll see, we we'll see with um, with Apple, with Apple, you know, work with oh, Apple. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's that? Can we'll watch it and think. I'll say, yo, that them thing they motivate you every day still as a producer. We we'll see, oh, you're there right now. Yeah, so no, that, that was a good vibe. I think, I think they they reached out to my management team. Mm. And then, then they put it together and then, yeah, that they good on good. We're actually supposed to do more in like some different states, but obviously this whole corona thing happened now, so everybody yeah. can <laughs> <go>. <laughs> And when you jump coming yeah. out of Atlanta, you yeah, don't know where there is to the studio. That's fact. It was full up, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Atlanta on the day. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, food the place free up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but we ain't going outside yet. We yeah, ain't going, we ain't going outside. outside. That's for the white folks. Yeah, All right. be careful for you. So, so Genius, <laughs> uh, I know so you and Russian kind of call up on a lot of projects and call up on the, the French Montana um, and, yeah. and Post Malone and Cardi B. And we know so you have a big um, in, um, influence over Shensia's music. But, I mean, I've said here, that yo, Shensia, <laughs> Shensia shit, they're not slapping. We, you know we went saying? hard on that. Because the people, I, you know, bless, bless did his thing. But I don't feel like it, it did what you guys wanted it to do. You know, and then the, the collab with Sway. Sway and Tugger, and, and Tug. the, the, um, you may not be. Yeah, the, I don't know uh, why. So, the, I don't know. Yeah. So is it, is it that case where you guys are just trying to find that, that stimulus that stimulus deal from a next artist? Like, you know, when you get a Drake collab and it's like, okay, this is going to move. 
Or is that thing where like, you know, genuinely, I hear the songs, I hear the tracks, and I say, okay, we feel like Sway Lee supposed to step on this and Young Thug supposed to step on this. Um, I mean, with with since the situation is more is Russian because she signed to his imprint and Interscope. Okay, that's rich merchant. That's and rich, whatever rich immigrant. Be. Yeah, rich immigrants. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So most of them kind of decision they would have been like directly from for them side. Yeah. But I mean, but but as far as the music though, I mean, it's just you really just you try and you experiment with different songs. Because sure. you have to remember to like it, it is a weird space when an artist already established from dancehall space mm-hmm. because it's like when you cross over you have to rework again like you're a brand new artist yeah, all over again rebuild. so I think not for the people them like them obviously them have big expectations for everybody we're big in other space but yeah. but like for work the system overseas now you literally have start from scratch so you take one song for do something and then the next song and the next song and it builds to whatever what? moment like that, every that... other artist in America have that yeah yeah but so, but no, but genius. That this this that specific and I don't know why. Like we don't know why mm-hmm. the build up was so big. We just never expect her to to like resample. I think Shinsei would agree with something fresh of herself. So uh, that had most complaints when I hear people. I say, yo, why should sing over the song and not give her, give her something from her? You know? Yeah. But I, but again, that's that's what I said. Again, that is like most of that come from our cultural side. Because like, remember, mm-hmm. so. To the rest of the world, that's just a brand new song to them. Okay. Yeah, that's true. You know, okay. so, I think, so I think, again, it like, is a measure of the expectations, again, coming from the space. I mean, <laughs> and separately to Shemsia herself get like an uh, enormous amount of like, pressure. Yeah, she so does. Yeah, yeah, she does. She does. We'll be up every like, time. Special still. fight to have with her. You know, enough of them thing there. But she's solid, you know? And, yeah, yeah, because we she have some really solid things about too. Yeah, cause we we'll say, we'll say here on the podcast that we feel like what anybody right now for she like, could be big. Yeah, but broke through the international market is definitely she because my love of Rami should do with her in in terms of like management. The production, and the, the production also have behind her. She have yeah, genius. She, she, she have the so my feel it can happen. There's time. So so Steve, mm. is there no, any? No, definitely. I mean, she have she have one of the best work ethic I ever said to like for for a new artist. Mm-hmm. Like. I, like to the point where sometimes we have to kind of tell her, yo, I, yeah, I, no. the people, the, the people don't even know that. Shut up, yeah. I think I got like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, the personalities and all of that too. Like I said, it's a general thing with every artist. Like every artist drop for every ten hit song where artists have them put out a hundred of them. True, true. You know, but we just remember the hit. So, you know, it's a process. And I think because somebody like her already some massive in our space, so them look on everything microscopic, which you do outside. So just them and them try to just rip it apart. True. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So is there yeah, any... So it's, just, it's a time thing. So is there any, like, young dancer artist, genius, I say, you know, say, that youth, yeah. Can be. If, yeah, if me getting on certain beats... And steer him in the right direction. Him can definitely do him supposed to do. Um, you know, I mean, all of the one them when we hear no have a vibe. To be honest, like, how, like when they really single out anybody, like how me look on it is like this. once anybody have have like a any kind of momentum. Mm-hmm. To me, that kind of proved that them capable of doing it. Okay, it's just them for so, maintain. So I feel like once they get so. I feel like I could have give a good production to anybody who can who can perform a, a proper song. Like performance, I mean, like deliver the song from, from the record. Okay. So, you know, I feel like it's just like, I think most of the artists them just in a development phase where they just need to probably just find the right balance with like between the production and the song them or whatever. And then it's like a it's a weird space to be because enough of the song them will work in other culture. I don't know if some of them can translate elsewhere. Like, you don't know, from topics and all of them. So, like, no, we have a big wave where everybody has single scamming. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, but, might, but artists them bad. So I feel like they just need good production and good writing and good direction. And I feel like we have a big wave of dance out success, like we say a couple of times before. We'll take it over back from Afrobeats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, speaking yeah, of mean, Afrobeats, you work with them? Say again? 
You work with any Afro Afrobeat artists like Burna Boy, David, yeah, or yeah. Afrobeat? Yeah, I have a couple of things. I have a couple of things apart with a couple of them, well, too. True, true, oh, yeah. true, true. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. But, I, that, but I think the, the good thing with them thing is just to, to try to keep it authentic. So whatever you are doing, like for me personally, when I work with them Afrobeat artists, I mean, I try to do Afrobeat. Okay. Okay. You know, so, and because they want to work with me, so we'll get our music too. Yeah, that's like kind of meeting in the middle. Yeah. Well, the genius, thanks for passing through. Thank you very much yeah, for your time. You know what I said? I said before, you're one legend. Premier, Premier, said Premier, that shit right now. Premier on 18 still. This is already like, what is it? <laughs> for years, here. Yeah, he's been a legend for, for years. Yeah, for you look up to him, my dear. And Marie told you, like, you live in the, the space per se, like, you know, like the whole dance yeah. scene, but the things in my head, like, even controller. You know, all of them things. Grammy's Chronix yeah, album, man. Junior Gang album, it, it's still here. And it's like, we don't even know, like an average man, I going to see how the genius yeah. works upon it's this. The fact yeah. that the, how powerful Jamaica music is and how big it is, is like, we still have somebody out there touching it. For, for you yeah. know, like, Shabba them back then, and them used to, but now we have someone literally in the backgrounds that touch all them good shit. And uh, yo, I have to appreciate yeah. that, yo. For real. Yeah. So big up, no, brother. For sure. And like, I just grow still, and I mean, like, it's really just, it's a really, is that intention to kind of grow to a level where I can help our culture as a whole? So more than yeah, that, me as yeah, that's what producer, this podcast is here too. <laughs> that's what we got yeah, this exactly. podcast. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah, so enough so like, time. So enough time. We'll kind of, talk. And you know, growth happening in a silence. So you like you kind of grow and then you plant a tree. A one day when you walk past it, then you say it get bigger. So yeah, so this is end up getting yeah, bigger. for real. Is that, is that when your grandmother see you after after six months? You get a tally. Yo, for I was real. just here. Bro, like when last when last you look upon an actual tree though. Yeah, for real. But you still a girl. <laughs> right? I haven't looked at a tree in a minute. I just walk past some shit. But, but genius, yeah. big up, you know. Mad. Thanks for the no, respect. Up top. <laughs>